Welcome to Bernie Custis Secondary School. We are going to review high school requirements, the grade nine program, and the course selection process. Our administration team is Ms. Ferguson, Mr. Goodrum, and Ms. Sykes. Our guidance team divides the alphabet according to students' last name, and our emails are provided. In student success, working with us on our grade eight to nine transitions is Heather Smith. We are all here to provide support, so please reach out to us whenever needed. All students are working towards graduation. By the end of grade 12, students will need 30 credits. 18 of these credits are compulsory. These are the credits that students must take. And 12 of these credits are electives, and the elective credits are where students can choose courses based on their interest, curiosity, or career goals. Students are also required to write the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. This is a written, this test is written in grade 10. Students who do not meet the provincial requirement for the test can take it again in grade 11. If necessary, in grade 12, students can take the Ontario Literacy course to meet this requirement. The final requirement is the 40 hours of community involvement. These 40 hours are designed to encourage civic responsibility, promote community values, support career exploration, develop skills, and reinforce the importance of volunteering. Students can start working on these hours after grade eight in the summer before they start grade nine. We encourage you to start them early. As hours are completed, they can be submitted to student services. This slide shows what the 18 compulsory credits are. Each year, your guidance counselor will be ensuring you are taking the required courses needed towards graduation. When students choose their courses, they will choose the compulsories and then fill in their elective classes. There is a lot more room for elective classes in grade 11 and 12, so students can start taking courses for their post-secondary destination. Overall, this slide summarizes all of your graduation requirements. There are five different pathways that students can follow. The pathways are named based on destinations after high school, and they include the apprenticeship pathway, college pathway, community living pathway, university pathway, and work pathway. For most, these pathways can intertwine and students might go to more than one of these destinations. All pathways lead to a common destination, which is the world of work. Students will learn more about this and find areas of strengths as they experience their classes in high school. All grade nine and 10 classes have streams or levels that we will take a look at next. Academic classes are identified by the letter D in their course code. In academic classes, the emphasis is on theory and abstract thinking. Students generally can work independently and collaboratively. They will learn from a variety of sources and are able to make connections. In applied classes, they are identified with the letter P in their course code. The applied classes have an emphasis on practical applications. Students learn by practical hands-on approaches and connections to real life. They are usually given step-by-step -step instructions to follow. Locally developed classes are identified with the letter L in their course code. In these classes, students will learn the most essential components of a concept. Students might not quite be ready for grade nine curriculum and will need some extra skills and time to reinforce previously taught skills and concepts. Finally, there are open and de-streamed classes. In these classes, expectations are designed for and appropriate for all students. In open classes, they are identified with the letter O in their course code. Any elective class in grade nine or 10 will be an open level class. 
Destreamed will be new to grade nine this year. It is identified with a W, meaning it is without a stream. Grade nine math this year will be the only class that is destreamed. And you will see this as we look at our option sheets a little bit later on in this presentation. Next, we will look at how to read a course code. The first three letters identify the subject. In this, these examples, the ENG means English. In the next example, the SNC means science. And here, the MTH means math. The fourth character is a number. These all have a number one in them, and this identifies them as a grade nine class. A number two would mean a grade 10 class, a three would mean grade 11, and a four would mean grade 12. The fifth character is a letter that identifies the stream or the level. In our first example, the letter is a P, which represents applied. So this course is English, grade nine, applied. In our next, next example, the D represents academic. So this course is science, grade nine, academic. And in our last example, the W represents without stream. So this course is math, grade nine, de-streamed. The sixth character is a number one, and that means that the course is worth one credit. Now we are going to start looking at the grade nine program and the option sheet. In grade nine, students will choose six compulsory classes and two elective classes. Please note that an art credit is needed to graduate. So if you don't choose the arts in grade nine, you will need to do so in grade 10. All students will be choosing a math, an English, a science, a language, a phys ed, a geography, and two electives. Next, we will look more closely at our option sheet. Students will get a copy of this option sheet from their grade eight teacher, and we will be having virtual visits with their classes to review all of this information with students. Section A of the option sheet has the compulsory classes. You will check one box per subject area. Go to each subject and check the box for the level you feel you will be most successful in. For English, you will see an additional level called Enriched. In Enriched English, students are still working on their academic English credit, but Enriched will provide students with more inquiry-based learning and will develop deeper content knowledge of big ideas. In math, there is de-streamed math, but locally developed math is also an option if you feel you are not yet at grade level. In English, math, science, French, and geography, we encourage you to see what your grade eight teacher recommendations are. They have worked with you on these subjects and have evaluated your learning skills throughout the year. If you are an English language learner, you will check the box for each subject in that column. However, English will be completed in section C of the option sheet. For phys ed, students have a variety of choices. Healthy active living focuses on all sports and activities. Whereas our focus courses are available for students that wish to have a class that focuses on one particular sport or activity. Section B is where you will choose your elective. The first and second choices are what we hope to give you, but in the event they might not fit in your timetable, we will have you rank your top six choices. Remember, if you do not choose a class in the arts in grade nine, you will have to choose one in grade 10. The classes that count as the arts are dramatic art, music, vocal music, dance, and visual art. 
When we meet with you virtually in grade 8 classes, we can answer questions you might have about these specific courses. Section C is for English language learners. Your grade 8 teacher will help you determine what level you should choose. There are some common questions that are usually asked about the course streams. The first question is, can I take different streams for different courses? The answer is yes. You are encouraged to take courses that are suited to your interests, goals, and learning styles. This can be different among subject areas. The next question is, can I change streams? The answer to this is yes. If the student finds they are not in the right stream, you can change streams between grade 9 and 10. In some cases, we may be able to change streams during the school year, but this depends on our student timetables and the room and classes. If you are looking to change your stream, you need to consult with your guidance counselor. We are looking forward to you starting high school with us, and we want to make sure you have the necessary information and experiences before starting high school. We were not able to have our option night at our school this year, so we have this pre-recorded session on our website. You can access this session as often as needed and reach out to us with any questions you may have. In addition to this, we will also be having virtual visits with the grade 8s at each of our feeder schools. The schedule is posted here. Please talk to your grade 8 teacher if you have missed anything. After these school sessions, students will have a few weeks to think about their option sheets and discuss their choices with their teachers and their parents. Later on in February, students will be entering their options in Zello using their school iPads. Their grade eight student success teachers and Bernie Custis staff will be assisting them with this process. We hope to have some grade eight welcome activities in the spring. We will be having a grade nine orientation day the week before school starts. At this orientation day, students will receive their timetables, meet some teachers and students, and tour the school. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope that we've made it a little bit clearer for you in choosing your courses for next year in grade nine. Talk to your grade eight teachers or Bernie Custis staff if you have any further questions. We look forward to seeing you at BCSS next year.